वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू फोर वेरी एसेंशियल पैरामीटर दैट वी विल बी सॉल्विंग फॉर वन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क दो पैरामीटर्स आर वन इज वोल्टेज गेन सेकेंड इज करंट गेन थर्ड इज ट्रांसफर इम्पिडेंस एंड फोर्थ इज ट्रांसफर एडमिटेंस so i'll explain you all those things step by step so that you can understand how we can solve all these parameters for any electrical network right so here you see we are having g12 so g12 is what it is voltage gain that you should know right g12 is voltage gain so voltage gain means what v divided by v and 12 means what second digit that will be in numerator and first digit that will be in denominator so g12 that is v2 by v1 now second is alpha 12 so alpha 12 is what current gain so that even you should know current gain means what current divided by current alpha 12 means 2 divided by 1 right now third parameter that we will be solving which is y12 so y12 means this is admittance so what is admittance admittance is current divided by voltage and 12 means 2 divided by 1 and last one is impedance so that is z 12 so what is that z means impedance and that is voltage divided by current and 12 means v2 divided by i1 so second digit that will be there in numerator first digit will be there in denominator right so that is how four definitions are there now what we will be doing is we will be solving this network step by step in that there will be many equations and we will be solving those equations to get the value of all these four parameters right so now if you observe this network then in this network you see over here we are having one node let us say this node is having voltage v1 so i am writing v1 now i am assuming over here voltage is va i am assuming voltage over here that is vb and i am i am having v2 voltage at this node so i am writing v2 as ground is common over here right now see what i'll be doing is i'll be considering that current is happening in this circuit randomly right so let us say over here i'm having some current now see i1 and i2 is already considered so i'm considering that here i i there will be i3 then in this direction there will be i4 in this direction there will be i5 in this direction there will be i6 in this direction there will be i7 in this direction there will be i8 that is how i am randomly considering currents right now what i'll be doing is i'll be applying kcl at node v1 va vb and v2 then we'll be having four equations right so what will happen is first we'll be having relation of v1 and va then we'll be having relation of va and vb then we'll be having relation of v b and v2 right after that what we will do we will place v b in terms of v2 in v a equation and v a in terms of v b so that will be in terms of v2 so we will be having relation of v1 and v2 and once we have relation of v1 and v2 we can have relation of i1 v1 as well as i2 v2 right so let us do that step by step so first let us apply kvl at node v1 so entering current is equals to leaving current entering current is i1 that is equals to leaving current that is i3 plus i4 now i1 that we wanted to have i3 is tail voltage minus head voltage so that is v1 divided by 1 right so i am writing that is v1 plus i4 that is v1 minus va divided by 1 right so i can say it is v1 minus va so this i1 that is 2v1 
minus VA that I can say, right. Now let us have KCL at node VA. So you can observe entering current is equals to leaving current, entering current is I4, leaving current is I5 and I6, right. Now what is I4? I4 is tail voltage minus head voltage. So V1 minus VA and the resistance are 1. So I'm not writing divided by 1 every time, right. I5 is tail voltage is VA divided by 1 that is VA only plus I6 that is VA minus VB divided by 1. So that is VA minus VB. Now you see V1 that is equals to you see this VA will come over here. So VA plus VA plus VA that will make it to 3VA minus VB, right. Now let us apply KCL at node VB. So if you observe entering current is I6 and leaving current is I7 plus I8. So I can say I6 is VA minus VB divided by 1 as per tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance and I7 that is VB divided by 1. So I am saying that is VB plus I8 that is VB minus V2 right divided by 1. So here you see we are having this V2 on other side it will be VA plus V2 that is equals to this VB will come on other side. So that will be 3 VB, right. So that is one another equation which we are having, right. Now let us apply KCL at node V2. So you see both are entering current, right. So I can say I2 plus I8 that is equals to 0. Now what is I2? So you see I2 is tail voltage minus head voltage, tail voltage is ground, head voltage is V2. So I can say minus V2 divided by 1 and what is I8? So that is VB minus V2, that is plus VB minus V2 that is equals to 0. So I can say this is VB is equals to 2 V2, right. So let us say this is equation 1, this is equation 2, this is equation 3, this is equation 4 and you see what is I2. So one more equation that we have as we wanted to have relation of I2 also, right. So you can say I2 is how much? Tail voltage minus head voltage, right. So tail voltage is 0, head voltage is V2. So minus V2 by 1 that is I2 is equals to minus V2 and this is equation phi, right. So now we have this five different equations, right. Now you see here we have VB in terms of V2, here we have VA and V2 in terms of VB, here we have VA in terms of V1 and VB. So all you can do is you can substitute this equation 4 and 3 into 2. Let me show you how to do that. So you see we have V1 that is equals to 3 VA minus VB, right. Now you see what is VA? VA is 3 VB minus V2, right. So I am writing VA is 3 VB minus V2 minus VB, right. Now if you observe this then you see this is 9VB minus VB so that will be 8VB minus V2, right. Now this is what we have for V1. Now you see here VB if you substitute that in terms of V2 then we will be having relation of V1 and V2. So what is VB? That is 2V2. Right, so V1 is equals to 8 into VB is 2V2, so 2V2 minus V2, so that will be 16 minus 1, so you can say V1 that is equals to 15V2, 
right so i can say v2 by v1 that is 1 by 15 and that is what that is voltage gain you see g12 that is v2 by v1 right so that is 1 by 15 so this is how you should practice right you should know how you are calculating things now if you observe that we have v2 by v1 now we have i2 and v2 relation also right so if you substitute i2 and v2 relation then you will be having i2 by v1 right how you see if you substitute v2 is equals to minus i2 then you will be having let us say this is equation a and what we will do put equation phi in equation a right so you see v2 by v1 that is minus i2 by v1 that you can say right so v2 by v1 is how much 1 by 15 so i can say i2 by v1 that is minus 1 by 15 now what is i2 by v1 i2 by v1 that is y12 right so see this is how i can have y12 so this is my second answer now if you observe we want to find i2 and i1 relation right so what you can do is in equation 1 we have i1 in that we have v1 also and we have va so what we will do v1 and v2 relation that we have calculated and we know that v2 that in terms of i2 also right so that we will substitute at last in this equation so first what we will do is we will find the value of i1 in terms of v1 right so how we can have that you see i'll be using equation 1 now so let me write equation 1 first so that is i1 is equals to 2v1 minus va so now what i'll do is i'll make a relation of i1 and v1 for that let me put the value of va from equation 2 so i1 is equals to 2v1 minus you see va is v1 plus vb divided by 3 so i'm writing v1 plus vb divided by 3 then let us simplify this so i1 is equals to if you take 3 lcm then this will be 6 v1 minus v1 minus vb divided by 3 so this is 5 v1 minus vb by 3 now as per the equation of vb you see we have vb in terms of v2 so we can substitute vb in terms of v2 so i'll be having i1 that is 5v1 minus vb is 2v2 divided by 3 and now see v2 by v1 that we have right so i can say v1 is equals to 15v2 so i'm just placing the value i1 is equals to v1 is 15v2 and let us simplify this further so what we'll be having you see we'll be having 15 into 5 so that will be 75 minus 2 73 73 divided by 3 right so 73 divided by 3 so i can say v2 by i1 that will be 3 divided by 73 right and what is v2 by i1 v2 by i1 that is z12 right so i can say v2 by i1 that is z12 now we just need to have i1 by i2 right now we already know the relation of i2 and v2 so if you place v2 is equals to minus i2 then v2 is equals to minus i2 
by i1 that is equals to 3 by 73. So I can say that i2 by i1 that is equals to minus 3 by 73, right. So this is my fourth answer, current gain alpha 1, 2. I hope you have understood this. See, you need to have understanding of what is the meaning of terms, then you should solve equations for that you need to do some practice, right. You should do practice that is only the solution for this type of questions.